Hello everybody and welcome to Darkest Dungeon. We are here in the Cursed Estate and we are looking to go out and fight the Siren. But before we do that, I think we're going to hop into the Warrens here and try and get the Bullseye Bandana. We do have a chance, of course, at the Collector here. But main reason for that is these trinkets that are available aren't particularly good. Um, unfortunately, there's nothing really there that we're going to want to use. So I'd rather try and reroll this and wait for something a little better. Uh, although I do have a team ready and prepared when we do go and fight the siren but yes we need to introduce our werewolf who will be bringing along with us today um canis and this is a backstory by pineapple uh, this one's actually been written for a really long time we just never actually had the werewolf to back it up so uh, let's get right into this backstory as a child canis was naive and curious but little did she know it was going to be her demise she was playing near a cave at the neighborhood's house and every night she would hear whispers from inside urging her to come in but she never thought too much of it. But one fateful night, she gave in to the voice and carelessly entered the cave. And as soon as she took a step inside, her legs slipped and she fell into a deep hole. When she came to, she realized it wasn't a normal hole. It seems like it was dug out and specifically mended to inhabit a foul creature. After scav scavenging around and trying to find an exit, she came face to face with that foul creature. Her shriek was loud enough to attract the attention of all the village. She could hear them stumbling towards the cave and clambering at, the, uh, at it with their metal tools. Without warning, the creature had sunk its jagged teeth into her neck, but not enough to take her life. She fled upwards through the cave and with every moment she seemed to have gained superhuman abilities she could feel fair between her fingers and when she arrived at the entrance of the cave she had completely transformed and with only her claws obliterated the entire village scavenging through the forest she tried for years to find a natural cure to her curse unable to find one made by nature she instead decided to search for one of man-made means thinking back to the carnage she had caused she fled from the forest near the village into a dungeon where she swore to put her inhuman abilities towards fighting evil instead of uh, instead, while her curse was still plaguing her. Absolutely amazing story there by Pineapple. Like I said, we've been sitting on that one for quite a while, waiting for an opportunity to actually use the werewolf. But here we are with our team. We've got Canis, we've got Victoria, we've got Artemis, and we've got Isaac. Pretty interesting team. I'm hoping that this is uh, a team that's going to be well suited. We've got a nice synergy here between... Um, Canis and Victoria, actually. Canis here has um, this, which is her main attack, that can cause bleed. And then, um, of course, Victoria does extra damage against bleed. So that's going to be really nice. And in terms of trinkets, we've got the Jara Slime here on Canis, along with the um, the World, which is extra scouting chance and extra chance for monsters to be surprised. And then on here, we've got the Focus Ring, along with the extra speed crit and minus chance for Pike to be surprised to touch above 74. A um, little bit of extra damage received on both of these two but that shouldn't be a problem artemis has gone full healing although her maximum hp is low which is a little scary uh, and then isaac here has got his main thing here going on with his extra stun chance and blight chance so we'll make sure that he's got the skills prepared to deal with that shall we um let's have a little look he needs to be using let's have a look so we need noxious blast play blight we want the stun do you know what? We're gonna go. We're gonna go full on stun with him. Full on stun. Uh, actually, shall we? This can't even hit the uh, the front, anyways. One hundred and thirty base. Both of those are really good. No, I think I think we do. I think we go full on blight and plague, and just stick with them two. Um, Blight and uh, stun, sorry, and stick with them too, and we'll play around as need be. And of course, Artemis has all of her skills. Um, and yeah, these these two seem to be fine as well. Let's try this out and see how this goes. Like I said, we're heading into the um, Warrens here. A small chance at seeing our collector friend. We're going in mainly for the Bullseye Bandana. Let's head in for our, to our provision screen and pick up some stuff. We got to use these pickaxes as part of the quest. So let's buy full food. Um, we'll get five shovels, four of each of these, not them, we don't need them, and full of them. Okay, we just need to check as well, do we have camping skills? There you go, prevent nighttime ambush right there, easy does it. That's all we need to know. Uh, we have pretty high scouting chance here with our trinkets, and I think this is going to be pretty good. This is a level three mission, so there is going to be some difficulty in this, but... 
That's what we're here for. That's what we're here for. So let's embark on. And I've written a few diary entries today. I've only, there's only diary entries from me actually today, but I've written quite a few. We've got the first one here, um, and this is from Nick the Jester. My songs and ballads of a treacherous tale are known throughout for all to regale. Once my lyrics are sung and my sickle is swung, death and joy lies on the fate of my tongue. <laughs> I, don't, I, I don't know where that came from, but I thought that that's just perfect for Nick being the jester. Um, having him writing lyrics about his deadly deeds but also the fact that he's been cheering up the townsfolk like he he is very multi-purpose he he has helped out people as much as he's hurt people so we're gonna need to find three animalistic shrines here hopefully scouting will be on our side Ooh, we got the treasurer straight away here um unfortunate dodge there let's get the plague on him that's gonna really help out that blight don't know how much blight that puts on, but I'm pretty sure it's a good amount. Yeah, six over three. That's really good. Took a lot of damage there. We don't have AoE healing right now, so that's going to be a little tough. But we should be able to get him relatively easily with our Plague Doctor. Already taking a lot of damage. Um, let's go for the heal on ourselves, actually. Wow, crit heal for 18. There's huge claw at both of you guys. Cool thing about Candice as well is that we, um, we actually have the chance to... Yeah, he's going to die next round. We actually have the chance to... Um, Turn into a werewolf on any given attack. Wow, big crit there. And a heal on a crit. Is, has she got... No, apparently her crits just can heal her. That's really nice. Um, Just in case, I'm going to do this again. Did miss. It should be fine. He should still die anyways. I want this to be sure. He should still die to the blight. I don't think he'll get to act before his blight. We'll find out, though. Well, we will find out. And there you go. Here's the repost here. Activates it. He's dead. Good. We'll get a bit of extra treasure here. Um, heal you up. And this should be alright, this should. Uh, do you know what? We'll go for the disorientating blast. Rather do that. And yeah, as a werewolf, we're going to be able to do quite a lot here. So, when we're, when we're a werewolf, we get a different moveset. We get, we carry on with our first one here, and this is a chance to change into a human. We can actually change back into a, mu a human, like, by force, and this is going to give us some stress back, which is really nice. Clear mark and horror as well. We have the headbutt, which is knockback and stun a heavy amount as well. Also, a slight detress and chance to turn into a human. And then we have feast here, which is really good. Um... It allows us to munch on corpses, although it does have, give us a chance to catch rabies. But I really, really do like, really, really do like the werewolf class. This seems like a pretty good team, actually. This team time, seems like it's got pretty much everything together and ready to go. Um, ooh. Interesting. Interesting indeed. Okay. Um... I'm willing to throw away 100 gold for these, just because we can try and use everything else along the way. But we just got this. 25% damage versus beholders, as well as 40% damage reflection if observed or stalked. So we do have a few people that are observed and stalked. We can actually use that to our advantage. Um, we're going to want to make room for gold, aren't we? I I'm a bit dumb, really, there. I should have just thought about that earlier. Um, let's get rid of holy water, shall we? Holy water's nice, but I don't know. I don't know. I think money's a little better. And there's our first one, actually. Okay. We do have some stealth here, but luckily Candace can hit multiple enemies at once. The stealth's not going to be too big of a problem. But we are going to see more and more stealth as we go along here. I'm actually going to go for the mark right there to start. Get that crit on you. Big bleeds. Big bleeds. We can also use um, Artemis here to actually deal with um, deal with enemies in terms of attacking, but she doesn't like to show her f true form. She knows she knows enough about the people that talk about her. She really she really doesn't want to get involved with that. We're gonna uh, activate repost there as well. Repost is gonna be the best way for us to kill things. <sighs> That's a big hit on us there. Big hit. Okay, definite amount of stress coming in. Take a strike on you. Um, and yeah, you can get healed up. I'm actually doing a really, really good job of uh, of healing everyone up at the moment, which is nice. Nice amount of blight on everyone. Unfortunate miss there, Candice. Candice even, not Candice. Okay, nice block and repost. Repost is just super powerful in situations like this. Let's hope we can get some extra hits. Hook it where it hurts. That's the big attack where we're looking to dodge because it just does insane damage. Um, 
Yeah, so crits always heal her, which is great. Look at where it hurts. Uh, another big crit already. You're on one HP. Not good. <laughs> Double hook it where it hurts crits. Great stuff. Great stuff. Exactly what I was looking for. Um, so for one HP damage, buff target. Wow, we, we don't really want to do this. But we, we will. That's actually pretty, I don't know. That's actually pretty worthwhile. I think Canis is, um, is looking pretty bad right now. Pretty bad. Uh, she could she could certainly take a take a beating here if we're not careful. We need that we need that big 18 crit heal. Don't we? Stop leave her alone, please. Thank God she got the dodge there. Thank God she got the dodge. She's really taking a beating right now. That hook it where it hurts. It hurts. <laughs> That's all I'll say about the matter. It hurts. Um, you've got six. We'll just go for this and try and get a kill on you a little faster, I think. Nice crit. We need to, the slime jar to start proccing as well. Get that healing coming up. Nice. Okay, good. That was that was definitely a little, a little bit horrible there. Um, not great at all. This is a shame because we're going to be getting rid of one of these in just a moment on this right here. So I I really like to pick these up. But we're not going to be able to, unfortunately. Not going to be able to, unfortunately. Would be nice, but... Just the way co the cookie crumbles. Right, we're getting here. getting a lot of food from this, aren't we? Lovely. Lovely extra food. In fact, because we got so much extra food, then... Let's just heal you up a little bit, shall we? A trap. Do you know what? We'll get that going. A lot of stress coming out. We do have some good stress healing in this uh, in this build, so that's not too big of a problem. But it is hurting, definitely. So, Curia, 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 Curia. So, all of these are Curias. We don't need to go to any of those particularly. Hunger check straight away. Oh, my God. Okay. Be careful, Canis. You're... You're doing all right. You're doing okay. You can make it through. Oh, hello. It's the first time we've seen some of these out in the wild. Victoria. She... She has some ties to these beasts. In her backstory. It's going to be interesting to fight these. Probably want to take out that big thing as soon as possible. Maybe we'll just stun it to start with. Yeah. Okay, you can get back up to full health. Thank you. And then we can start hopefully doing some stress healing that we desperately need to do. That hurts. Nice hits. Yeah, let's do some stress healing, shall we? Bring our stress down. Try and bring everyone's below the threshold. Hopefully we don't take on the disease here. That would be nice. Um, we'll try and blight you. Ooh, unfortunately you got a miss there. Ooh, that's a... That's some... Wow, that's a hard-hitting attack. That's... That's... I've not experienced this enemy before. That is a very hard-hitting attack. It stuns and does pretty good damage. That's going to be... Uh, that's going to be troubling for us. Certainly. Wow. This enemy hits real hard. This enemy hits real, real hard. Okay, nice heals though. Got that going on at least. Let's get a repose going with the block just to help us out a little bit. Try and clear these bodies. Nice one, Canis. Well done. Nice one. Go for the one with the block. Still, we're taking on some problems. I have to say. We'll get rid of that. Give it a slice. Give it a slice. We'll do some stress healing here because we desperately need it. Good thing is as well, it stress heals both us and the person that we're targeting. I'm sorry, portraits. You are very nice, but I'm going to have to leave you. For right now, at least. No books for us, please. The sack, we can take that. Unfortunately, the sack is empty. This is definitely a scary quest we're going on here. The level 3 quests, they, they, get, pretty, they get pretty intense. Pretty quickly. Uh, we start to notice that um, we're struggling. It's very annoying to have to leave all these heirlooms behind. I realise that. But... The things that we have on us currently, I feel like we desperately need. I'm really hoping that our scouting chance here 
Damn it. I'm really hoping that scouting chance here leads to us getting a little bit extra um, secret room action. That'd be really nice. A little bit of secret room action. It's always good. Another one of these. This is a buff, isn't it? So let's put that on you, actually. That's going to be, yeah, 30% damage until camp. The traps in this area are relentless. Relentless. Okay, here's our next one. Great stuff. Another inventory spot cleared. That scouting chance is going to be nice. Curia, Curia. Curia. Probably have to go down to here. Um... Can we survive another battle? I think we're going to have to try, aren't we? See what we get here. Look who we got the surprise here. Let's try and get you. Of course, of course, we get a miss on it immediately. Um, yes, get rid of that, that horror. Get rid of that stress. Okay. Ooh, nice one. Nice stress dodge. If stress was to hit anyone, I'd rather hit Artemis anyways, because she can clear it so easily. <laughs> nice. Okay. We're fine. We're fine, people. Don't worry about it. We're fine. In fact, more damage. More damage. Beautiful stuff. Oh, okay. We need to get rid of this thing as quickly as possible. I've heard that these things are brutal. Oh, my God. Wow, we just crit heal. A crit hit for 41 on our first attack on that thing. You're going down. Werewolf now. We're taking some stress on. The repost apparently didn't trigger on that. I always forget that some, some stress healing attacks don't actually deal damage. Ooh, damn. Luckily that repost got that thing dead pretty much instantly. Um, Yeah, let's do this and try and move him to the front. Clears bodies as well. Something I didn't know that um, that's pretty interesting and pretty useful. Moving an enemy past a corpse automatically destroys it, even if it even if the actual move itself doesn't have clear corpse. This does have clear corpse, but even if the move doesn't have clear corpse, you can clear them just by moving an enemy past the corpse. I don't know if that's still a feature, but it's something that I heard about a while back. Oh, I should have gone for the heal there. Oh well, it's fine. It clear some stress from us. Nice dodge there, Victoria. Uh, we're going to want to be clearing some stress off of you, aren't we, Isaac? Isaac's not feeling so good. That damage. Ooh, that damage. Um, what we got here? Three trinkets. Interesting. I mean, we don't need any of these, and none of these are even that good of trinkets. So I'm not that bothered about leaving those. Okay. Right. There's the secret room we're looking for. Right, okay, so... We'll go through to this room, then camp. Hoping that this isn't the collector. If it is, it's not gonna be good. Okay, it's not. It is the hook it where it hurts, guys, though. And they are very difficult. They they are what brought candies down so low last time, so it's a little... It's a little scary. A little scary. Um... Take that stress off of you as quickly as we can. Do you know what? I'm going to do this. It did remove her block, unfortunately. I wasn't really thinking about that. But getting that huge bonus to dodge is really good. So early. Look at where it hurts. They really, really hate Canis here. They hate her. Let's do that. That, that. that moves us to the back. I didn't realize that at the time. Whoopsie. Nice dodge, Isaac. Take you out. This guy's still stealth. Wow, instant kill on that guy. Ooh, every time that hits, it scares me. Every single time it hits. Ooh. Got you. You should die to bleed, really, shouldn't you? Okay, so there's some interesting moves we can do with her. We probably don't want to use the cure of the masses. Ooh, nice crit heal. And a nice kill there. Lovely. Great stuff. Let's do that. We can use that on here. Continue adventuring. Grab this real quick. See what we get. Ooh, we got two heads. Two heads. Wow. Okay, so we need to clear out a lot of stuff here. So we got Margaret's head. 
Magretta's head even. Extra accuracy for stress. And we got Elizabeth's head. Extra... Ooh. Whoa, that's so strong. Uh, extra melee attack damage. Sorry, accuracy. Extra bleed resist. And on hit bleed. That's so cool. Right, I'm re really happy with that now. Uh, let's head back to this door. Uh, let's just check one moment. How do we... Do we benefit much from camping here? Yeah, we do. Let's Let's camp it out. Then we can do that. See if anyone has, else has a cheaper prevent nighttime ambush. Let's have a look, see, shall we? No, so we'll use your prevent nighttime ambush. We will self remove some stress here. Then you can use that on you. You can use that on you. And there you go. Really nice, reduce everyone's stress. Canis, she, she fought a battle her first time around. She really did fight a battle there, but we got through it, and we even got a secret room right at the end of the mission, and it rewarded us with two pretty nice heads as well. Very happy with that. Right, let's get ready for the siren now, shall we? Ah, oh, we got filthy. That's unfortunate. Um, brawler. Wow. Ah, I missed the brawler. Okay, that was pretty good, though. I, I'm really happy about that. Um, we will just get ready for the um, for the fight coming up against the siren now. So let's get prepped for that. Okay, and here we are with our prepared group. We have Scarlet, we have Angela, we have Aurora, and we have Ruby. Ruby and Aurora have been best friends since they very first got here, and have been wanting them to go out on an adventure together for a while. Aurora is going to be almost entirely a healer um, and Ruby of course is going to be doing what she can from the back line and also be a pretty big stress reliever. Um, Angela here, we haven't taken her out in a while she's really really interesting and does a lot of stuff with Mark. She consumes Mark for big damage and Scarlet here actually applies Mark on her normal hit so going to be a pretty good combo. We're going to just make sure that all these guys and gals have, um, have been, in fact is this like an entirely I'm pretty sure this is an entirely female party isn't it? Uh, just make sure that everyone's skills are leveled up so scarlet you need one for yeah so one then then one's there we don't want to make we want to make sure we don't spend all of our money here but we want to at least get upgraded what we can um yeah we don't we don't need to worry about those okay and then Aurora, I think you're the only one that needs upgrades. Everyone else is fine. Yep, everyone else is fine. Good, good. Everyone's upgraded and ready to go. Something I didn't do um, after that last run is just check the stage coach, see who we've got available for us. Um, we have ourselves a leper, which we've already got level four. Our jester at level four. Uh, what level's our jester? Uh, where's Nick? I think Nick's already level four, isn't he? Nick, where are you? I wish I could search my name. There you go. We could we could level up Nick to level four here. Um, I don't know if we want to though. I kind of like having a lower level Nick just to be able to use him for stress relieving. I think we're gonna leave. Oh, he does have leprosy though. It would be nice to just instantly get rid of that. Um, let's have a look. What what have you got on you? Ooh, okay. Some of these are really good. Okay, I'm, I am going to switch him out because some of them are really, really good. So let's just switch out Nick for Nick. Right. Nick, you are replaced and upgraded. Very welcome to join us. Cool, that'll save us some money. Uh, and then Acolyte of the Sun. I think Acolyte of the Sun's already level 4. Oh no, Nori here is uh, indeed level 3. We'll probably keep her as she is. Um, she gets a lot less stress healing. Let's just check her out and see what's going on with her here. Um, that's like, that's pretty interesting. Natural there, I like that. But we're gonna we're gonna leave her as the as the level three version that we've got because we need some lower level healers. We don't want to over level all of our healers. We also have access to these guys now as well, mercenaries, which is pretty interesting. Um, I don't exactly know how these work, but mercenaries they don't add on to your total, um, and we can get some pretty good ones going on here. I'm pretty sure they they don't die the same either. I don't remember how exactly these work, but we'll take some on board. We need a vestal, mana arms is pretty good. 
That one's pretty good. Abomination's pretty good. We can only take on a certain amount of these guys, though. But we can do some cool stuff with those coming up later on. We'll also check out what's going on here. See if there's anything really interesting. There isn't. Um, cool. Right. Let's uh, let's get ready. Let's get ready to embark on our quest. This is going to be a pretty interesting group. The only problem with this group I can see so far is that healing overall is lower than normal, but I think that should be outweighed uh, by the amount of damage we're dealing and the speed of this group in total. Like, eight speed here. Um, you've only got one. That's fine, but you've got three and I think you've got quite high speed as well. Three as well. That's not ter not not as good as I thought it was. But still, eight speed on um, Scarlet here is going to be pretty good. Let's jump on into this. Get our provisions ready. And we do actually have some notes from Scarlet um, for the Diary and Chisevera as well. I'll jump into those just before we start the mission. Um, this is from a uh, Diary Entry for Scarlet the Assassin. This this one that I wrote here. I've had my eyes out uh, for a while now, looking for some keen-eyed shooters and hard hitters to join me on an expedition. The groundskeeper spoke of the siren song being heard once again by some of the locals. I think my team can handle this one. But this guy... William, I think his name was. He seems obsessed with the siren and her song. He begged me and pleaded me to come along, but my team had already prepared and readied their arms. I'm sure he can sit this one out. And then another Dire Ranger here from William himself. She calls to me. The ocean calls to me. I must see her. Smell her. There was once a day where I don't nothing more than to get away from the curve, but now it speaks to me in a way that no human ever could. And that's because William has the plague. He, he is obsessed. He is truly obsessed. He really wants to get back down there. And will do anything he can to get down there. Um, but this group, they they think he's a risk. They don't want to take him. They think he's a little too a little too obsessed. Which I tend to agree with, to be honest. Um, <laughs> so let's go down. We'll actually take some hair of the sea dog as well. Just in case anyone does get the curse while we're down here. We can cure it off them pretty simply. So let's embark on our quest. And head on to fight the siren. Inspiration, I struck a bargain with the ancient things that surfaced in search of sacrifice when the moon was right. Their price was the delivery of an obscure idol, and one other item of more troubling portent. The pact struck. My newfound accomplices slipped silently beneath the brackish water. A fearful stirring at the edge of the torchlight betrayed a familiar witness and gifted me with malign inspiration. Ooh, very eerie. Right, let's jump on down. Wow, it's going to be a long journey. I think, wait, yeah, it would be this one. I was going to say it could have been this one, but I'm pretty sure it's this one. It actually will be just be a straight line that we can take. Got some stress incoming here. Wow, instant crit and destroyed. We're going to take some stress here, but that's fine. We can clear stress relatively easily, actually. 17 coming in. See what strike. Nice. That pull is not going to do anything to us today. Good thing about healing here. They get a healing bonus each time. Um, we're going to use this to reduce stress as well. Nice stress reduction there. And go for a strike on you. Nice one. Um, Angela here. Right. Let's go for... Another cut on you. Another crit straight away. Scarlet is probably one of the most powerful classes just because of how crazy high her crit gets. Ow. Um, yeah, if we have a look, we're at 32 crit already. Let's try and slice you down. Nice bit of healing going on. No one has ridiculously high maximum HP either here, so that's not too bad. Nice shot there. Nice shot. Gonna take another cut here. Nice one. Angela just dodged right out of the way. And there we only hit for five, but we follow up with a crit for 58. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> That's insane. So if we have a look here, um she does 150% damage to Mark and consumes the mark, and she just crit for 58. That is mental is absolutely absurd this boss isn't going to be able to stand to us this group knows what they're doing what the hell is that thing i think this is a mod i'm pretty sure i downloaded this like a few weeks ago and this is just the first one we're seeing 
Uh, let's take out you first. Crit straight away. Ups our crit by 7% for getting a crit. <laughs> it's just balls out of control. They really like attacking Angela right now. Gonna hit you for the crit. We've got a bit of healing there. Curl up. A bit of guard defense on the uh, on the old dude there. Yeah, healing is definitely looking to be a bit of a problem. Get a free action going on here. Finish you off. Didn't quite finish you, but did decent damage. Hit you for another crit. Oh my god. Up to plus 14% crit. It just keeps going. Bit of stress coming in. Again, like I said, though, stress isn't that big of a deal to us. We can, we can manage it. There you go. You're taken care of. Just this guy left. He's probably going to get another stress hit in. Or two. Yeah, unfortunately, if we're missing like that, especially. There's that extra healing coming in there. And a crit. No, just a hit for 14. Ow. A cut. It does hurt. Let's get that stress healed off. Probably should have done it on you, actually, shouldn't I? Right, keep that going. And watch this. 34. Just absurd. <laughs> Just absolutely absurd. The levels at which we can deal damage is unheard of. Want to keep our light high as well, because on... Um, on here, we have uh, all of this speed and crit if we got our light above a certain level, up to 11 speed. All of, also, we have this uh, bladed crossbow for the extra crit and mark damage on uh, Angela here. I think that's going to help out a lot. Nice. This is just, yeah, this is just the group, the group that was made for each other. These, 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 this is like a girl's night out extreme. The best and most deadly girl's night out there ever was. Crit. <laughs> I'm liking these little things though, with the repost on them. <sighs> Unfortunate. Uh, let's let's carry on with the heal and get everyone healed up. Get that going. And put a shot in you. 16 damage. That's pretty good. Okay, look, that defense is going to be annoying, but we can deal with it. With a 50 pro, not great. Like I said, we can deal with it though. Cut on you. I'm basically just marking him so I can get that crazy damage to Angela. Although Angela being pushed back there was not good at all for us then. Um, let's go for a strike on you. Okay, he can defend multiple people as well. This is interesting. I'm I'm, I'm liking this enemy a lot. Nice strike. Executed. Minus 40 dodge. Minus 6 speed. Wow. This thing's, this thing's tough. This thing makes it can draw, really draw out a fight. I like that, though. Enemies that are interesting like this that get added are always welcome. Okay, both of these are stopped being guarded now. Nice dodge on that. You are dead. <laughs> nice one, Angela. She 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 t lines up her target, and she strikes with the might of a thousand everythings. <laughs> she, she strikes with the might of literally everyone in the hamlet at once. She is crazy. I don't know how we're going to fare against the Siren herself, because, um, yeah, we're definitely going to get rid of that. Um, just because, obviously, the Siren has some interesting moves that could really d be quite difficult for us. Uh, mainly the one where she steals one of our uh, party members. That could be very dangerous for us. I'll have to keep an eye out. Ooh, this is an interesting party. I have to say, I don't particularly like this guy. We'll mark him and dead. Nope. Ooh. Oh, okay. Get that going. We're just going to finish you off. We need you gone. These guys can give us the cast, but we do have some hair of the sea dog with us, so that's not too big of a problem. Let's carry on healing. Aurora here is the battlefield medic. Take a bit of stress there. My anchor pulls you up to the front. You probably just pulled yourself into your own death here. Take a little bit on there. Taint. Could have taken on the cast there, but we didn't. Good, good. Heal up. Hit you for 20, lovely. Probably should have tried to take you out first, but it's okay, because she'll be going down right now. Great stuff. Great stuff. Um, don't really have enough room for any of this, unfortunately. Let's have a look what our scouting's like. Oh, okay, so the boss is probably here, then. Um, unlikely that we're going to need to shovel five more times, so I'm okay with using this here. Get a bit more gold going. Let's do this room, then probably camp after this. A hundred. Yeah, hundred on you. 
Very nice. No stress reduction, unfortunately, because you don't have any. Because you keep critting everything like an absolute mad woman. Right, what we got? <sighs> Another one of these guys. Still want to be taking these out first. Unfortunately, didn't get it this time because of the shocker. We don't, really don't want to be getting stunned here. Um, I'm still going to take the time to heal everyone up. Getting us ourselves to full health is going to be really good. People in this party are actually pretty weak. Or at least some of them are. Get that kill there. The block's probably incoming here. Probably should have um, changed that up a bit. It's okay. It's okay. Ow. That hurt. That hurt a lot. <laughs> that's going to be a problem. And that's going to be a huge problem. Okay. It's going to be a huge problem. Right, let's try and take out you. I know you've got the repost coming in. Does hurt, but we've got to get you gone. Right. Get Angela healed up as much as possible. Armor piercing here. We could hit the back line with the armor pierce to get... We're just not going to hit for enough though, are we? We're just, we'll just strike on you. Not being able to use Scarlet that last turn really hurt us. That's nice. Shocker, please don't stun. Oh. It's horrible. Absolutely horrible. It's okay, we can get through it, we can get through it. Leave Angela alone, I swear. Keeps guarding him, that's fine by me. Um, you're dead. Good, good. We even got the little heal there as well. Really nice to see. Keep on striking against you. We need a heal here, aren't we? Bleed coming in, but we dodged it, luckily. Okay. Let's go with that. Ooh, that's a big crit. Nice one. With that armor piercing. I like to see it. Just keep defending. Just keep defending. Um, yeah, we can finish you off in the next turn now. So this will do. There you go. You're dead. Get Angela healed up here. Um, that was fine. Wasn't exactly what I was planning on doing, but... Can you leave Angela alone, please? God damn. There's the crit heals we need. Lovely. And you are pretty much dead. Please don't stun us. God damn it. Leave her alone. <laughs> she just keeps getting stunned. She just keeps getting stunned. Well, there you go. 30 hit. Absolutely demolished. Dust among the pavement now. Right. Um... Yeah, I was, I was going to camp here, but I think we'll camp on the next one, probably. Ooh, lots of bloodsuckers here. This could be bad. Killing one of them right off the bat is lovely, but this could be bad. Um, set up that. Always want to be setting up this because it gives us that extra damage and everything. The only, the only thing it does is lower, lowers our speed and uh, gives us stress if we miss. But we've got extra accuracy, so that shouldn't happen too often. Okay, we aren't going to get a kill here. Um, we're not going to get a kill here either. Let's just go for it anyways. Gather the blood. Gather the blood. Nice. We need some healing here. We can probably stall to get a little bit more healing going on right now, to be honest. Let's do so. Light. Not good. Shot at the body. That's fine by me. Just do that real quick. I'm trying to stall here just to get that extra healing up. Good, good. Um, stress heal. We can't stress heal ourselves, unfortunately. That is one thing I didn't account for, really. All the dots. All the dots on Angela here. Gather the blood. Nice dodge. And you're dead. Good, good, good. That went well. And we got some blood for that as well. We definitely want to be taking that. So let's, uh, let's get rid of some of these and take that. We need that badly. Just in case. As a precautionary measure. Right. This is our boss, right? Yes, it is. Okay. So, let's just check our camping skills. Do we have, um... Do we have a prevent nighttime ambush? I don't actually think we do, you know. Damn. We don't. So, the question is, is it worth it? This could severely mess us up if we don't. Like, what, what are we going to gain from it? Let's have a look. So... Gain huge crit chance. That's, that'd be nice. Um, 
We from you would gain less stress, extra damage. We don't really want to use any of those. Extra speed, healing, and remove bleed. Um, pretty good for the stress relieving. Honestly, there's not too much there that we'll be getting. Let's just go for the boss. Let's uh, eat up on everyone that can. And we eat on you a little more, can't we? Right, let's go. I'm a little worried for this because, as I said, depending on who the siren decides to take, really could influence how well this goes. We could we could get some crits coming in if she takes Scarlet. We really could, and that could put us in a dire situation, but we've got to hope that doesn't happen. Okay, getting that mark on a straight away is great. Song of Desire, resisted it, awesome. 35 hits straight away, that's what we like to see. High tide. Good, good. 30 on that hit, lovely. Get you marked and prepped. I'm gonna try and take you out while you're there. Come resist, resist. Angela, no. Okay, Angela is in a bad spot now. Oh, now these are in a bad spot. Okay, luckily she does pretty low damage as a base level, so it's fine to take care, really. Wow, that's a big hit, considering that was just activating repost. Sadly, Angela can't really do... Not Angela, sorry. Um, Aurora can't really do anything from here. Nice crit. While he's protecting, he's going to be so hard to kill. This is going to be tough, because we, we, we really can't do much here. We can keep doing this and activating the repose. But this is going to be tough. Once she gives us Angela back, though, it'll be okay. Vindicate. Like I said, not too much damage on her there, so that's fine. But we're doing enough damage here to get things done. Song of Desire. Our healer's gone. Battlefield Mage done. Heal up the enemy, you fool. Pressure crash. Stress is coming in. Oh, okay. Worrying me, but that'll do it. <laughs> A 45 crit, that'll do it. That was worrying. Got some more hair of the sea dog there. We got ourselves another blueprint, which is awesome. Um, We'll take on all of that. And there you go. Return to the hamlet. Feeling pretty happy. And we got ourselves some more blueprints as well. Good stuff. This is the thing that we wanted right here. We got ourselves 25 stun resist, plus 20 healing skills, never virtue, which is mm, it's annoying, but not great. Um, annoying, but fine, should I say. Uh, yeah, went well, all in all. Got some people up to level 4. Angela got herself another. Wow, we need to get rid of that. Um, higher chance to suffer a severe debuff during combat. Okay, both of those need to go. We got observed on you as well. Okay, some interesting stuff there. Right. Let's uh, let's quickly just unequip. Then we need to get rid of that and wait, what? Uh, there you go. That both of those need to go. Pretty pretty damn sharpish. Check who else we got on the stagecoach here. We got two cooks. Um, I think we're fine for cooks for now. Thank you. I think we're fine for cooks for now. Let's check if we've got anything here that we really want. The Duchess getting X. Wow. An insanely high virtue chance. Plus 30. That's really, really high. Um, we still have some of these that we could buy. I've, I've not really decided on any of these that I want yet, but there's some that could definitely help us out a lot. Bypass stealth. Minus 20 virtue chance. Plus 5. Um, interesting. People will have to let me know if any of these are specifically really good. Some of the lower cost ones that we can buy for 42 shards. Because um, I'll have to look out for them. Let's also get a few of these going. So we'll get one of them. I don't know how many of these we can have, so I don't want to take too many. We'll definitely take some um, some healers though. And there you go. We'll, uh, we'll keep those going. And I'm pretty happy with that grouping. That was a really good little mission, little outing there. And let's see what we've got available on some of our future quests to get. Um... Some interesting stuff. 25% damage versus Bloodsuckers. That's pretty good. 
Whoa, that's pretty interesting. Less accuracy, more stress. Friendly skill, buff target with dodge, stun resist, bleed resist, blight resist, disease resist. Interesting. Very interesting. Either way, we'll leave that there. I think that's a really good place to leave off this episode. I hope you guys did enjoy. We made a good amount of progress there and killed yet another boss. And I will see you guys in the next one.